All right, you guys, I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is... My Tokyo Treat Box came! The bad news is... I was gonna make a video of me trying them all, and it turns out I wasn't even recording when I did it. So, I already tried all of these snacks. I've sampled them all. So, uh, here's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm going to just go over everything that came in the box. Most of the stuff that I got were Sakura flavored, like these Sakura flavored Kit Kats, which are so good. For those of you who don't know, Sakura comes from the cherry blossom. And if you ever get the opportunity to try anything Sakura flavored, do it, because you are not going to regret it one bit. These are all melted. I tried, I, I opened one and it was very liquid. So I basically had to lick it off the wrapper, <laughs> but it's still very good. I got this gigantic bag of popcorn. It's um, very um, generic popcorn. It's just like salt flavored. It's the kind that you would find at a grocery store, but uh, it's still very good. It's got a nice sweet and salty mix to it. Very good. I got one of these ramen snacks. Um, they're taro flavored, uh, I think. I, th I think that's what it said. I might be butchering that completely, but it's basically dried ramen bits and they're very good. There's these uh, Umai uh, sugar corn snacks. Um, it's like corn snacks coated in sugar. And when I say coated, I mean coated because this is one of the sweetest things I've ever eaten. <laughs> like I didn't even know what to make of the mix of tastes that were in my mouth, but uh, it was pretty wild. And then I got these. Let me just show you in the booklet. It came with a booklet so you know what each of these snacks are. Let me show you what the name of these things are. What? But yeah, that's what they're called. And they are curry flavored. And um, they were okay. I I'm not a huge fan of curry. So, um, I know. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't um, get a lot out of it. But it was still pretty good. I got Banana Man my favorite candy mascot as of right now. Banana Man is a banana marshmallow, which I thought was gonna have like a character design when I opened it up, but it turns out it's just this banana turd that uh, is half eaten. And um, I promised myself that I would conserve these Japanese snacks as much as possible. Oh no, Banana Man, where'd you go? Mm. Where did you go, Banana Man? Poor Banana Man, rest in peace. I got these retro snacks. That's um, not the name of the snack, but it's what it said on the um, in the description. They were very retro and has a retro Japanese character on it. These were pretty good. I got these uh, mini monster gummies, which is basically like a gummy belt. See, it, it, it literally tastes like a gummy belt. If you ever tried one of those, they're good. I also got these lemon squid snacks. Yes, I said lemon squid. And it's got a very strong taste, but it's it's a good strong taste that I'm just probably not used to. <laughs> this is These are um, fruit donut gummies. Um, this one is lemon lime, and it's literally, literally in the shape of a donut. And uh, they're pretty good. I got these. I was, I was amazed by these. These are Sankaku vegetable crackers. They sound gross, they are not. They are amazing. First of all, this is what they look like. Second of all, they are heaven. Oh my goodness. They taste like Ritz. They taste like Ritz crackers. They're so good. I also got another marshmallow treat right here. It tastes like just a plain, delicious marshmallow. It's so good. Well, what else? Oh yeah, Sakura flavored marshmallows just as great as they sound. You take the wonderful taste of Sakura. To me, it's, it has a very soothing taste. It's very relaxing. It's a very relaxing taste. I love them. And um, they're very soft like cotton. It's just an overall very pleasant snack. Another Umai snack, or I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm so sorry. But it's basically a cheese puff. <laughs> it, it literally tastes like a cheese puff, but a better cheese puff. I can't explain it. It's so good. Oh, and allow me to show you my favorite thing to come in this box. Some of you guys on Facebook wanted me to do another chip review. 
another little short video where I review a new chip. Well, boy, do I got you covered. <laughs> These are Japanese fried chicken Pringles. They are, without a doubt, one of my favorite Pringles that I've ever tried. Let me show you what they look like. All right, so, cause I know, I know you're curious. First of all, they look more like lay stacks than they do Pringles, but I still love them so much. They are so good. I need to have another one. They are delicious. It has a, it has a fried chicken taste to it. It has a chicken taste to it, but it's like, it's like a nice sweet chicken. Oh my God, get these. If you get anything from the Tokyo Treat website, it's gotta be these. Try these. Last but certainly not least, I have something in the refrigerator that came out of this box too, and I'm gonna go get it. All right, this is the one thing I haven't tried yet. This is raw moon soda. You've probably seen this before in um, Japanese snack collections and stuff. This is Sakura flavored raw moon soda. And um, it has a very special opening mechanism that um, if you just hang tight, I'll figure out. <laughs> Okay, wow, uh, first things first, this uh, pink top right here was apparently just for show. All right, so this is what the actual cap looks like. And this has a very special way of opening. You have to push this top part down into the bottle. And uh, I haven't done this in a long time, so sue me. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand probably. So here it goes. All right, I'm gonna need the instructions. Oh, that wasn't for show. All right, hang on. This is going to help me open it. <laughs> Sorry. All right, you push down on the cap with this. And... Oh God, okay. And... Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Are these two parts together? They're not. Oh, I think it's gonna be easier now. Okay, here it goes. One, two, three. Oh! Shit. Eee. Oh, that's not okay. It got all over my desk. Thankfully, it went that away, so it didn't hit my computer. Oh, okay, I'll clean that up in a minute. I kind of forgot that soda's fizzy. All right, so there you have it. Hey, but hey, my, my room smells 10 times better now. <laughs> All right, bottoms up. That's interesting. Oh wait, I can take this off? No, stop lying to me. Yeah, <laughs> the, the little ball that was on the top is now here. You see that? It's like jiggling around in there. I don't know what to make of that taste. It kind of has like a cherry, strawberry type taste, but it's like a hint of both, you know? It might be hard to tell just because of the carbonation. It's good, it's sweet. Sweet like a soda should be. I don't know if it tastes like Sakura. I mean, Sakura does have that hint of cherry um, in, its, in its flavor. So I am getting some of that. I don't know. It tastes more like a strawberry soda to me. But it's good. It's got a nice, unique, sweet taste. And the great thing about this is, if you don't want to finish it all at once, you, you may notice that the top is like permanently open. Well, think again. You just pop that bad boy on there. The last raw moon that I ordered online did not come with one of these. And that's kind of upsetting. <laughs> but hey, this one did and I'm happy. I'm happy about everything. I'm happy about all these delicious treats that I will be making last a long time because I can. And these have become one of my favorite flavors of Pringles. And I encourage you to go try it.
But uh, yeah, that's everything in the Tokyo Treat Box this month. And um, <laughs> the soda is still in the fridge. I'm trying to keep it cold. I'm probably gonna drink it tonight or something. I don't know. But it's important to have drinks cold. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed my uh, very rushed, not planned at all review of all these snacks. It, it, it was shit. Why did you watch this?